Hi guys, Grant Stain here for Blam TV. Just want to talk to you today about booking appointments and attending appointments and the way in which your prospect perceives you um, when you attend that appointment. Um, this comes to mind because there's been a couple of instances this week where I've spoken to partners who have booked appointments and then they've arrived at the appointment um, only to find that the, the prospect is a no-show. So there's a few things that, uh, that we've got in the toolbox that we use to help uh, consolidate that appointment. Um, but it does all start with mindset, believe it or not. Now, what can happen in a lot of instances is when you're in sales and when you're trying to sell to somebody, that person will perceive you as a salesperson and therefore will see you sitting at a lower level to themselves and therefore less important. And for them to actually cancel the appointment because they're a they're actually looking to, to spend money with you, they see that as, as okay, and they see that as, uh, as not, not a big deal. So what you need to do in terms of your mindset is make sure that when you're talking to somebody, when you're booking the appointment, you're giving the impression that you're not necessarily in sales, but you are a consultant, that you're actually, uh, uh, have got value as a consultant, you are uh, an important person that deserves respect, and somebody that sits at least on the same level as the, as the person that you're going to see. So um, that all starts by the way in which you uh, approach the, the client and you don't use any kind of needy language or subservient language. You need to be professional, friendly, you can use a bit of humour, uh, but the whole sort of yes sir, no sir uh, the, of the old school sales system um, really doesn't sit well these days because it makes you come across as a salesman. And we don't want to be seen as a salesperson, we want to be seen uh, as a peer-to-peer as a, a -peer, uh, person that is there to go and consult and see whether or not the products and services that we sell are a good fit with their business. And if they're not, that's fine. Um, and if they are, great, we can talk about packages and put together something that, that's gonna work for them. Um, so this isn't pushy, it's not salesy, it doesn't come across as salesy, and that way the prospect is much more likely uh, to deal with you in a more professional manner. And this can lead to uh, less no-shows um, and, and more, more respect uh, when it actually comes to, to doing the, the appointment in, in the first place. So other things that you must always do once we're, uh, when we're booking appointments is always follow up with an email and do a calendar um, entry so you can use one of the one of the many different calendar apps that are out there for your computer or your phone that, that sh actually sends them an invite to make sure that they've got it in their diary and I would always call either the day before or on the morning if you've got an afternoon appointment just to make sure that they are expecting you they are going to be there and they're not going to be wasting your time now, when I was speaking to one of our bland partners about this uh, earlier in the week, they did say, well, doesn't that come across as needy when you, when you phone up to try and you know, consolidate the appointment just to make sure they're there? Well, I see it more as professional. It's how you word it. So it's important that, uh, and in fact, uh, one way of doing it would be a text message or maybe even WhatsApp, just to say, just checking you're, you're still on for the appointment. Um, I've got a busy week so I just want to make sure uh, that everything's set and that way you can show that you are busy you've got other appointments um, and you want to make sure that they're not going to be wasting your time and that's perfectly acceptable and it's a professional way to act um, so think about these tools think about your mindset remember it's a consultative attitude that you're using and it's perfectly okay if you if you uh, attend the appointment and the, there isn't a good fit between your products and services uh, and their business and you let them know that up front and it takes the pressure off, it makes you come across as more professional uh, and hopefully you'll get more people showing up for the appointments, you'll get less people being unreliable with you uh, and treating you like a salesperson. So I hope that makes sense and uh, good luck out there with your appointments guys.